after studying this module you would be able to know the concept and meaning of job characteristics you would be able to evaluate hackman's and oldham's job characteristic model we shall now commence by looking at the basic concept of job characteristics the job characteristic is a theoretical conception concerning how the fundamental features of an employee is assigned the task that to affect the uh, mental state and give different workplace consequences the job characteristic model classifies the features of skill variety self government task consequence task individuality and feedback and the consequence of high job performance high job satisfaction high intrinsic motivation and low employee turnover or absenteeism so these are all the dimensions of job characteristics now let us study the hackman and oldham's job characteristic model the job characteristics theory emphasizes on the factors that make job specific satisfying it makes a specific job very satisfying according to this theory and the theory was introduced by richard hackman and greg oldham in 1976 and later in 1977 the faturo sham man well defined the job characteristic theory as the link between job characteristics and the individual's response to work this theory stipulates that the task condition in which the individuals are expected to prosper in their work the job characteristic model promulgated by hackman and oldham is recognized on the idea that the task itself is a key to motivation for the employees a boring and wearisome job suppresses motivation to perform well while a challenging job boosts motivation a variety and if there is autonomy and if the decision authority uh these are you know three dimensions variety autonomy and decision authority of decision uh, <coughs> these three factors uh make a job challenging to add variety and challenge to a job job enrichment and job rotation are the two most important tools now let us have a look at these core job dimensions we have three columns in this diagram which is about the job characteristic theory on the left hand side you have the column which consists of a large number of boxes core job dimensions consist of skill variety task identify and task significance now the next dimension is autonomy and the third dimension is feedback now let us see how each of these dimensions affect the job characteristic theory 
uh, the first dimension which is skill variety, task identification and task significance. These affect critical psychological states. The experienced meaningfulness that is what we call it. So these affect the experienced meaningfulness which is one of the critical psychological states. Secondly, we have autonomy. Autonomy affects, influences, experienced responsibility for the outcomes of work. Thirdly, feedback. It affects knowledge of the actual result of work activities. So, let us repeat skill variety, task identification, task significance, all the three influence three respectively three critical psychological states. The first influences experienced meaningfulness, autonomy, affects experienced responsibility for outcomes of work and thirdly feedback affects knowledge of the actual results of work activity. All of these put together point towards as you can see the arrows point towards another dimension which is the personal and work outcomes. What are these personal and work outcomes? High internal work motivation, high quality work performance, high satisfaction with work and low absenteeism and turnover or attrition. Therefore, in some total what we can say is that there are three dimensions which influence three psychological states, critical psychological states, all of these put together lead to personal and work outcomes. Now, if we consider the entire gamut of factors, then on the one hand the core job dimensions influence the personal uh, and work outcomes and both of these are influenced by the employee growth need and strength. So this is a complete picture of the theory that specifies that there are five core job characteristics namely skill variability, task individuality, task significance, autonomy and feedback, all of which influence three related psychological conditions. The qualified meaningfulness, skilled responsibility for outcomes and the knowledge of the actual results which in turn influence the work outcomes namely job satisfaction, absenteeism, work motivation. The five essential job characteristics cooperatively form the motivating potential score MPS for a job which can be used as an index to know how likely a job affects the employee's outlook and performance and behavior. There are three states as proposed by Hackman and Oldham. These are the following. One, experienced meaningfulness. It is the degree to which the individual experience and it perceives his work as uh, usually being significant, valuable and valued by some other methods of value 
which he accepts. Experience responsibility for work outcomes. This, uh, it is the amount to which the individual feels uh, personally responsible for the outcomes of his efforts. Knowledge results. The employee must be capable to define the degree of superiority of the outputs of his efforts. He must obtain numerous and regular views from his supervisors as to uh, how reasonable his performance uh, remains to be. According to Hackman, this model offers the interior rewards and uh, are uh, attained and by the individual when he learns, with his, when he has the knowledge of the results that he personally, that is according to the experienced responsibility, has been able to, been able uh, to well be on the task and that he cares uh, in a great way which is about the experienced meaningfulness. The higher the level of these states, the higher would be the satisfaction that an employee will experience when he performs well which will result in increased and continuous inherent inspiration. The job characteristic model <coughs> additionally proposes that there are three psychological states that are triggered by these five characteristics of the job which are collectively known as core job dimensions. The first three characteristics add to the psychological state of the experienced uh, meaningfulness and the other two characteristics add towards the state of experienced responsibility and knowledge of results consistently. The five job, uh, core job magnitudes are skill variety, it refers to the degree to which the job encompasses a variety of diverse activities which would challenge the worker's skills and abilities. Task identity, it is the degree to which the job needs accomplishment of the whole identifiable unit of work from the beginning to the end with the observable and noticeable outcomes. Task significance, it denotes to the amount to which the job has an important influence on the lives of work of other people either within or outside the organization. For example, a worker who is simply, who simply tightens nuts or screws uh, on some part of a spacecraft assembles that he has assembled recognizes his job is more important than a worker who tightens the nuts and bolts of tables and chairs. Although both the jobs entail similar skills, this is task significance. Autonomy, this is a core dimension which adds towards the psychological state of experienced responsibility and is the degree to which uh, it allows the workers to substantial freedom, independence and the pleasure in arranging his own work and in creating procedures to be employed in carrying it out. This will help the worker to feel responsible for the success or failure of his own efforts. Feedback. Feedback is the degree to which the work performance results in workers obtaining direct and indirect 
information about the effectiveness of their performance. On the basis of this model, it is possible to calculate the motivating potential score, MPS, which reflects the degree to which the employees perceive their jobs as mo being motivating. It provides an index of jobs overall potential for motivating employees and is calculated from the following formula. MPS is equal to square bracket in the numerator we have skill variety plus task identity plus task significance square bracket close whole divided by 3 into autonomy into feedback. So the high value of the MPS is only possible if a job is high on at least uh, one of the three dimensions. That effect experienced meaningfulness and high on both autonomy and feedback. As you would see autonomy and feedback are multiplicative effects. It can be seen that if there is no autonomy or feedback then the MPS score is zero. MPS being a measurable index can be very beneficial in detecting uh, jobs and the usefulness of jobs, job activities. In addition to these core dimensions, the psychological needs of the employees are very significant in determining as to who can become internally motivated. Some people have strong development needs for completion, challenge and self-actualization, while others may have low growth needs or no growth needs at all. The extent of these growth needs impact the relationship between the characteristics of the job and the work outcomes. Now let us summarize what we have learnt so far. Job characteristic is a theoretical concept concerning how the fundamental features of an employee's assigned tasks affect his or her mental state and give different workplace consequences. So this is the main conceptual uh, framework of job characteristics. Job characteristic model projected by Hackman and Oldham is recognized on the idea that the task itself is the key to motivation for an employee. That means it is not about how employees may be given some kind of external incentives or external rewards as well as punishments. So the job itself is something which is motivating to the employee. A boring and wearisome job suppresses the motivation to perform well, while a challenging job boosts the imagination, creativity, enthusiasm, motivation of an employee. Variety, self-sufficiency and the verdict authority are the three factors which make a job more challenging. The theory uh, points out that there are five core job characteristics, skill variety, task character, task significance, autonomy and feedback. Now all these five core job characteristics 
which influence they influence three serious psychological states one experienced meaningfulness two experienced responsibility of outcomes and three knowledge of the actual results now these in turn influence work outcomes what are the work outcomes job satisfaction absenteeism and work motivation this is a very complex structure which tells us about the relationship between all these dimensions now further the five essential job characteristics mutually form a motivating potential score mps for a job which can be used as an index to know how exactly a job affects an employee's outlook and performance as well as behavior the extent of growth needs impacts the relationship between the characteristics of the job and the work outcomes this in short is are the various dimensions of the job characteristic theory